A Canadian organization is lending its aid efforts to Haiti. Shelterbox Canada responds to natural and man-made disasters around the world by providing essential shelter and supplies to families in need. Shelterbox Canada's executive director, Stephanie Christensen, is joining me in studio now. Stephanie, good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, what are you hearing about what's happening in Haiti right now? So we're just starting to get reports back. Obviously, the storm was over Haiti for a long time. The things that we're most concerned about are the heavy flooding, the mudslides, um, and the fact that a number of people's shelters have been completely ripped apart. So we're looking at potentially 12,000 that we know of families that need shelter right now, and we're expecting that number to grow significantly. How are you going to help them? So we have a number of different aid options. We have high-tech tents, and we can provide all the supplies families need to survive and recover after disasters. If tents aren't the right solution, we also have shelter kits, which are heavy-duty tarps and tools that people can repair their homes with. Can you show us a couple of the items that you brought in today? Um, because this is going to take people weeks, months, perhaps longer. Absolutely. So among, along with the important shelter, which obviously is, is crucial, we also provide solar lights. Hold uh, that up and, and turn it on the way you did yeah, for me absolutely. earlier. Now, why is the light like that? So this a is a, a blow-up pillow. It helps disseminate the light. It's super lightweight. Um, it's completely waterproof. And light is so important in disasters for safety. Um, Another important thing in Haiti specifically is water purification. So um, after the earthquake uh, in Haiti, we knew that about the cholera outbreak, we're worried about that again. Uh, mosquito nets as well throughout this whole um, region, blankets, cooking equipment, basically all those natural essentials. We were commenting earlier that these people already have so little. They're still trying to recover from that devastating earthquake. What has been the situation there leading up to Hurricane Matthew? So Shelterbox responded to the Haiti earthquake in 2010, and we actually provided one-third of all the tents for that disaster. Mm. Um, unfortunately, there are still people in Haiti living in our tents. Um, so they are built to last. Um, They've been living in tents since 2010. Yeah, and so thankfully, um, the area that was hit the worst this time wasn't the worst quit hit earthquake area, but again, we're looking at only 2% of Haiti actually having trees covering it, so mudslides are a huge issue. Um, a lot of people were living in makeshift shelters. They haven't been able to fully recover, um, and so they're in a very vulnerable position to begin with. And then a storm of this magnitude, obviously, it's going to cause horrific damage anywhere it goes, um, but especially in Haiti. And then also there's the concern about disease. Absolutely. So um, water contamination is a big problem. Um, and with our water purification, we're hoping to get families some clean water. Okay. And how many shelter box Canada people are going over? So we have a team of six um, that's been deployed. There's one Canadian in that group um, and the rest are from around the world. And there will be more Canadians going in um, likely after that, depending on what's needed. Okay. All the best. Thanks for the Thank good work you. that you do. Appreciate it. Good to see you again. Stephanie Christensen.